Here we are. Good morning. Good morning in Nicaragua. We are in Nicaragua. Let's go. Team USA or half of Team USA is here. That's true. We're, We're waiting our guy. Yes. Packing it up. Getting ready to head down to the match. First ever international match. First time out of the country. First time out of the country. A lot of first here. This is a great day. Yeah. yeah. The Lord's already blessed us. We got here after a long trek yeah <laughs> missed the flight it got canceled in a hotel four hours of sleep two and, and a half get, hours of sleep yeah two and a <laughs> half hours of sleep then we get here and it's already been day one yeah in 10 hours so much has happened already like crazy more than what we have been seeing at avp tournaments yeah you know the bible says that god will bring the nations and we're, we're here the nations are here and uh, we've had already opportunity to lift up the name of the Lord. Our verse this morning was in uh, John chapter 3, where he says, you know, if you lift up the name of the Son of Man, then God will lift you up. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go out there and lift up the name of the Son of the Man, Jesus. And we're going to represent USA. It's God, then country. That's how it's supposed to go. We're going to honor God and honor our country and praise the Lord and bounce the ball in Jesus' name. Yeah. But we did get to share with uh, a couple different countries. Yeah. We, um, well, first country we talked to, or I guess it's probably the U.S., but the Virgin Islands is a team, some guys that speak like us, talk like us. They're from San Diego. They're playing for the Virgin Islands. So we chat with them and. Unique guys that were super open to the Lord and had some really good conversations with him about the things of God and um, yeah, I mean they're they're so close, but they're they're willing to come into our prayer meetings and hear the word. And then we talked to Canada. Yeah, we spent a long time with Canada last night and keep those guys in prayer. I think they're open. They're at least pursuing uh, potential uh, opportunities with God, and we want to be available for that. And um, we're gonna, every day we're going to do what we do, open the Word in prayer on our locations and whatever it is. God sent us here. We're representing the United States, but ultimately we're representing the Lord. So we'll see who God brings. And uh, all, all of you people that are out there that support us, thank you for supporting us. And uh, we're going to need more support in the future days because... It's the first of many. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we're, it'll be also learning. You know, Paul talks about trying to go to one place and the door being shut. And then at another time, that door was open. So only a few days ago, this door was shut. Yeah. And uh, Tuesday, we get a call saying we're in. And here we are. And we want to be open and available to what God will do. And. You know, we couldn't do it without people out there that support us to do what we do. And uh, we're grateful. Something we're I was thinking about yesterday, last night, um, as I was just like updating people about the day. And I was saying, based on my experience, my little experience I've had is that when people are super open to the Lord, usually it comes with the equal amount of pushback. Uh -huh. So we would appreciate prayer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we always say to people, beast volleyball, Sports, outdoor ministry is all fun, but it's not all fun in games. There is a there is a battle, as you know, principalities and powers, and um, those powers wouldn't want us to be doing what we're doing, but we have the victory in Jesus' name. So, thank you guys. Oh, looks like the other part of yeah, we got one more guy. Team USA is here. Oh, there's the other Team USA. Hey, sir. Up in here. Look at this. He's got his guitar pillow. Look at this situation here. We got... Well, we need to see this jersey. I need to see that jersey for this video. Because we're, we're going to have the USA red. What is this contraption you got on here? Uh, robot. Oh, this robot thing he's got going on. This way, just a little bit. Hair? Yeah. Hey. So here's the other Team USA guy, just rolling in. He thinks he's on Nicaragua time. 
been here too long. The extra 12 hours extra, did it for me. Yeah. So he's already speaking Spanish and, you know, it's amazing eating mango. And so we just kind of let people know, like, where we're at day one, uh -huh. kind of our experience, how we got here. But what do you think about what we're doing and what God's doing so far? I mean, it's been great so far. I mean, we've totally, both of us, all three of us been here for 24 hours. Um, got to talk to a local um, who's probably coming out today. Talked to Team Canada for a while. Um, you know, the USA team too, uh, on your guys' behalf. I mean, not a bad way to start off the trip. So, and then got three games today. We have three matches today, so one at a time. And um, let's pray that we play in the spirit and not in the flesh and we are available to what God will do. Obviously, we want everyone to be healthy and and but we want to represent the US because they've given us this privilege ultimately we want to represent the Lord because he's given us the greater privilege and this is just a platform that God's given us so it's super fun super fun um, I'm sure your parents are stoked mixed emotions mixed emotions <laughs> first time out of the country my mom is She's excited for me to have this opportunity, but it's very happy Mike's here. Because <laughs> I was going to be out here by myself with little to no street smarts, especially in a different country. They're doing great. They already walked around on the streets by themselves and got some meals with people, and I think they can make it. I love the people here. They're yeah. super nice. They're either like, they're really, really nice or not so nice. <laughs> but... I don't know, so far I haven't met, like, in between. Just, right now, most of the people are super nice. Super nice. I mean, Nicaragua ultimately is a socialist country. So you sense that and you feel that. And more than, like, the government kind of thing, governments are either submitted to God or not. And so we're in a country that is not necessarily submitted to God. Not that the U.S. that we are there either, but... When we honor God, then you can see a land that's blessed. So we're going to go represent USA. People see us in USA from other countries like, well, you guys are so blessed. Like you have all the availability and the wealth and all those different things that we have that people see us as. But we know that's a blessing from God. So when we go out there, we'll represent the Lord. Our When you look at our flag, you can see like, all the reasons why that we are the way we are, the 13 stripes and the 13 colonies and the blood that was shed and the pure white stripes are from, you guys know what that's from? No. Yeah, the pure white stripes are supposed to symbolize like the purity of God. Hmm. And then the blue and the stars, all these things are have to do with the Lord. The blood that was shed, we... We left England so that we could worship freely. That's what USA is. That's how we started. Not under tyranny. And when you represent USA, you know like, oh, this is so we can freely worship God. USA. USA. When you look at your flag, you go, oh, that's what that means. They left England so they can freely worship God. And that's how we started. So the blessings that we get to have in our country means that we can glorify God. But we can also be a blessing to other people. Because we're not meant just to keep our blessings to ourselves. We're meant to bless other countries and other people. Be generous. Be kind. Invite people in. Don't abuse our authority with people. But it is a platform we have to bring people in the gospel. Let's use that. It's going to be great. I get to be the coach, and I get to help us guide this ship. But you guys will be the ones eventually having to do the interviews. Mm -hmm. So I'll just get to step back out of the way, and then you'll have your opportunities, and God will say, open your mouth. And, um, yeah, what do you guys think about John 3 this morning? You must be born again. Good. It's the, for some reason a very controversial verse. <laughs> it's very nice though. 
but it's also makes people very uncomfortable, especially people in the church. Yeah. And I've read that. That's like my go-to verse. Read that to people in the church. Have you been born again? A lot of people get super uncomfortable. And it's a simple thing, right? Simple. Born again. Why do you? Why? Why do we got to talk about this? I'm a good guy. I'm a nice guy. I go to church. Yeah, but Jesus says, "Are you born again?" Presses that question to us all: Are we born again? And if we are, that's a great statement or a great question. And if we're not, that's a frightening question. When you came into the uh, came here from the United States to here, they said, "Hey, where's your passport?" They didn't want to talk to you about all, you know, what you're doing volleyball-wise. They want to know, like, where's your passport? And the Lord's going to say, hey, where's your passport? Are you born again? Do you have your passport? Oh, my cousin, my grandma, I got the jersey, and this is what we did. And Nope. I just need your passport, sir. No passport? You're not getting in. That works. Easy to see. We go out here and play games today. No, you represent the Lord, represent USA, and all these people out here that support us and pray for us. Can't do what we do without you guys. So thank you guys for supporting us. Yeah, thank you guys. Day one. Day one, let's get after it. Let's go, USA right here. Want to pray us out? Yeah. Um, Father, we're... So blessed to have this opportunity. Lord, keep us sober-minded and focused on the prize, which is you, Lord, that we may know you. That is eternal life. It may help others to know you. Pray, Lord, that you guide our path and that you just prepare the hearts of the people that we're going to interact with. And pray, Lord, that you help us to, to do really well in, in this gift and this craft you've given us for your glory lord and not for ours that you bless the refs and people running this tournament amen amen, amen. good boys let's do it